my god. How can Pokemon do any better than this from a promo set? Please tell me. Oh my god, no way! Today I'm going to be opening up a $2,000 sealed binder of Pokemon cards from over 20 years ago. The set is called Southern Islands, and it might just be the best promotional set Pokemon has ever released. The whole theme of this set is Pokemon themed in different tropical island settings, and a ton of different Pokemon are featured together in different artworks on the card. So it's time to kick back and travel to the tropical Southern Islands of Pokemon. So here we have it, ladies and gentlemen, a sealed Southern Islands binder. Now again, this was released back in the summer of 2001, and it honestly has some of the coolest cards you'll ever see. So there's actually a binder in here. We're going to crack this open and you're going to see all these different amazing cards as well as a bunch of really cool old school booster packs inside. Oh, and then also as a bonus, I'm going to be opening up this Pikachu World Collection binder at the end of the video. So stick around for the entire thing. Dude, I'm so hyped for this. Okay, it already had like a little cut there. So I'm just literally going to rip this open. I'm so pumped to open this up. You guys have no idea. You're, ac you're actually going to lose your mind if you don't know what was what's inside of one of these binders. Like, if you've never seen one of these open before, I don't know. I think you guys are going to love it. Like, this is one of my favorite promo sets of all time. So, we have this little thing that's attached here on the side that says exactly what's inside of here. So these are pretty rare. Again, this is like a $2,000 binder. But here we go. Let's see what we got. We got our binder. And then let's reveal what's inside. Oh, and before we head to the tropical islands, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be giving away one booster box of Lost Origin to one subscriber here on the channel. So make sure you enter today's giveaway by number one, smashing the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, leave a comment down below in the comment section. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, that's so cool. Oh, man. I don't even know where to begin. So, dude, you can see there's a bunch of different Neo sets. I think that's Neo Genesis behind there. You have, like, all these really cool promo cards in here. There's so much cool stuff. And it looks like it's all going to be inside of this sealed other piece that's in here. But really quickly, let me show you guys some of this binder. So, you have all these different, like, parts on the island. Jungle, beach, and they all feature different Pokemon. You have sea. Um, you have sky. You have riverside. And then you have Fields of Flowers, and there's all these different Pokemon. Look at the artworks on these things. This right here, though, this is what we want. All right, gently. Going to cut this open. There we go. Don't even need to cut any more than that. Oh, dude, we're going to be opening up all these packs as well. We're going to see all the cards, all the goodies that you got back in the day. We got this little, like, piece of paper in here or letter or whatever that says, Hey, trainers. Let's get to all this stuff. Okay. Okay, we'll check out the packs and the cards in a minute. I'm going to put those to the side. But the first thing I see in here is a Pokemon trading card game survey. Tell us what you think about Pokemon Southern Island set. And you might win a display box of Pokemon boosters. Dude, no way. What would the box? Maybe, maybe they sound like a jungle booster box or an Oh, my God. Imagine like a Neo Destiny box. Oh, and there, there you go. That's how you fill it out. You send it to the Wizards of the Coast. Make sure you mail it in by December 28th, 2001. I wonder what would happen if I sent this in now. Like, would they do anything? Maybe I'll try it. I'll do a separate, maybe I'll do a separate shorts video or something where we, like, fill this out and send it in and see if, like, we get any kind of response at all. They're not affiliated with Pokemon anymore, so I wonder if they would even say anything or they would just, like, chuck it in the trash. <laughs> okay, so next up, oh my god, I gotta show you guys these postcards. Okay, this is cool. Man, this is, uh, like, I don't know, it just makes, makes you feel warm inside. Like, the cool artwork on here, it's just, it's so nice. They, like... I feel like we definitely have never seen a product like this since this was released. But check it out. You get these crazy postcards. So the first one, we have Jigglypuff. We got Ladybug. There's Gen 2 and Gen 1 Pokemon in these as well, as you can see. We got Meowth in the flowers with Diglett. Like, everybody's hanging on this amazing island. The, the volcano, like, literally is just, like, shooting out rainbows. I mean, you can't beat that. Then on the back, it says Southern Islands Collection, the Illustrator as well, and then, like, the information on there. And you put a stamp on there, and you could literally send this out. Okay, so here we have the next one. Oh, the Charizard's on the background there. You have Mew, you have Pidgeot, Onyx, Venonat's back there. You use even, like, a Golem and a Dragonite. Oh, look at the next one. Okay, we have Ivysaur, Togepi, War Turtle. Like, how can this just not make you feel happy inside? And actually, I have a really cool idea. Okay, so I'm dropping Poker Red Packs. Like, if you're watching this, probably in about a week from the, like, release of this video... I'm actually going to sign, like, a bunch of these. I'll write, like, a like a custom note on the back, and I'll sign it. And I'll send out, like, one of these to, like, I think there's six. So six random people that are grabbing those. Um, you might have one of these in there if you're, like, super lucky. Um, I'll, throw, I'll, like, toss them in. I think it'll be cool to just kind of, like, see if people get these or whatever and what they think of just having them randomly thrown in there. Um, so look at this. We got Lapras, Magikarp, Dratini, Meryl, Tentacruel, Dragonite. So we got Slowking there. Oh my, this is actually a really cool one. I love like how they have these as shade for some Pokemon. And then the Executor running across the beach is really cool. And then they're like, um, I guess, cooling them down. Dude, I would love to be on an island like this right now. Um, and then we got one more postcard, it looks like. They had the Lickitung, Venonat, 
Uh, we got Bioplume Oddish back there. They're all kind of like hidden in this like jungle theme. So each one has like its different theme like we mentioned earlier. And look, we got Caterpie over there. Okay, so we keep going. And it says, start your own Pokemon journey. Join the Pokemon Trading Card Game League. Play the game, make new friends, and collect exclusive cards. You can even earn trainer badges. The road to becoming the world's greatest trainer starts at a game store near you. Get going today. Pokemon League. So this is getting people to like play the game, obviously, and go to a league and uh, have some fun, which is what it's all about. Okay, so we have like the Neo set list on the back here with Slowking back there. So this is Southern Island set list. There's 18 cards, and uh, you're going to see those in a second. Then we have the Neo Genesis set, Neo Discovery, and that's probably where they left off. I guess actually that they, they might not have had like Neo... Uh, Neo Revelation and Neo Destiny out quite yet. Uh, your path to become a Pokemon Master starts here. Uh, Pokemon Training Game can be one of the greatest challenges in your life and possibly the most fun. Alright, so here is our pack of... Oh my god, look at the Meryl. So this is the pack of Southern Island cards. They came sealed in here. You guys are going to see some really, really amazing artworks out of this. Trust me. Um, but besides that, we also have three packs. So we have one Neo Discovery Unlimited. That's really good and it's straight from a binder so you know obviously it's like unweighed all that good stuff you can pull hollows out of here we get a second neo discovery and then i think behind here is a neo genesis but is it an unlimited or first it's an unlimited print run of neo genesis meganium dude okay we're gonna save these we're gonna do this next oh man okay so we're literally just gonna open up a pack a sealed pack of southern islands cards all right are we ready for this so we're gonna go like that and then we're just gonna be super careful okay here we go, here we go. We're just going to lay him right here. I'm actually going to put him on, on top of this plastic. But here we go. Start off with the Meryl. Dude, that's so cool. So you're going to see all... Okay, where do I start? So first of all, you have the Southern Islands logo, which is like a tropical tree there. And you have this really cool reverse pattern with like... Look how sparkly that thing is. You're going to see a bunch of different Pokemon featured in these cards and different angles of those Pokemon in the cards. Like in different like... You'll see. I'll show you guys in a little bit. But we're going to keep going through. So we've got Meryl is the Pokemon on here. And the Magikarp is featured. And we got a Swirl on the bottom there. So if you guys can see that, it's number 11 out of 18 right down there. Next up, we have Bioplume. And there's two of them. So this is in the jungle. So we have a jungle version card here. Same thing. you got this really cool reverse pattern. It looks so good. It's so clean. These cards, I'm actually, I'm kind of hyped because they're like really well centered as well. Oh, it's so cool, dude. I love these. These are so sick. They're really clean, too. Oh, this is such a good card. Slow King. Now, this one has Psyduck, and it's like you can actually see if you look at the postcard artwork and compare it, it's actually parts of the postcard, um, like different like Pokemon from that that are just like screen, like basically like taken from those uh, postcards, like the full image or whatever. But this has the purple background or like the reverse pattern, and it has a swirl down there. If you can see it, dude, it looks so good. Bell Sprout, Psyduck chilling, and Slow King. All right, here we go. Yes. This is definitely the one that everybody wants from this. I got to be real careful. Dude, these look so clean, though. I'm actually really shocked. Oh, my God. The Mew, dude. That's such a good card. How can Pokemon do any better than this for a promo set? Please tell me. Please show me a promo set that's better than Southern Islands. All the way back in the year 2001. Bro, so there it is. You can see Mew. You can see almost all of Charizard. And then I guess that's probably Pidgeot on the side there. It looks so sick. Actually, the crazy thing is, if this were to grade a 10, it's I think it's worth like $4,000 or something. And I'm actually shocked at how clean these cards are coming out. We got to do a returns on these as well. Togepi. So each one of these reverses, I think, is a feature from a certain part on that island that we read about earlier. So this one, dude, this is so cool. I love this. I absolutely love this. This is too cool. Like, I don't know how you can beat this. Everyone has a crazy swirl. I got to be super careful with this one. Togepi is really hard to grade as well. But you can see part of Pikachu, part of Ivysaur, part of War Turtle, and then Togepi right in the middle there. Dude, these are sick. Yeah, that one, remember, there's 18. I think there's one more reverse right here. This might be the last reverse, and they're all, like, non hollows We have Ladybug. Oh, man. Look at that. That's wild. I love how it still shows the rainbow there. And, yeah, same thing. The, the, the icon for this set is really cool. They also released this in Japanese, like, I think one or two years before this came out in English. And it was, like, tougher to complete because you had to get a bunch of different little binder things. They weren't really binders. They were, like, little packs or little cardboard pack things or whatever you want to call them. But, dude, so cool. So those are the six hollows, right? But here we go. We got the, the not hollows up next. All right, so these ones we're going to go through one at a time. And it's more just features from those postcards. So we have Lickitung with Rattata in the background. Venonat we can see as well. We got Primeape. So even, like, the artwork on these is just too good. I don't know what it, like... And it's, it's kind of like, it's similar to Tag Team Pokemon, which came out in the Sun and Moon era, but that that was years and years later. Like, 
probably like 18 years after this was released but like these might be the first ones where they really showed like multiple pokemon in the same scene just hanging out you know what i mean like with a really cool like theme going on war turtle nice with horsey there so all this stuff you guys remember from the postcards we saw executor is the ones that were running down the side of the island we have Ivysaur as well, and they're all numbered on the bottom, so that's 5 out of 18. We got the Ivysaur, and that's what I meant earlier, so like, see, you can see the Togepi there, and uh, like on this one, you can literally see it's the same exact like thing, if I just match it up right there, see that? It like literally just matches up perfectly with Pikachu back there. So depending on the card that you're looking at, uh, you can kind of get the scene together. We got Raticate as well. Got Pidgeot, that's a cool one too, because you see part of Mew and Onyx in there as well. We have this Onyx is amazing, and there, literally there it is. So you got the Dragonite. The Dragonite barely doesn't make, oh wait. The Dragonite, is it missing? No, yeah. Wait, I'm confused. There should be a Dragonite there. Oh wait, no, no, it's right up there. It's right above that little circle. They barely cut it out on this one. Yeah, barely missed it. Okay, I was like, where did it, where did it go? But yeah, you get Dragonite in that one. And Golem, you can see down there a little bit too. Lapras, I love this one. This is like just, feels like the definition of Southern Islands to me. Lapras and Dratini in the water. Oh, there we go. More Dragonite action with Tentacruel. And then we got Butterfree, of course. Another one that's really like, it just has that Southern Islands theme to it. And then there's one more. And we have Jigglypuff. How can you beat the artwork on these? This is like just... The definition of old school Wizards of the Coast era, like early Pokemon card, hand drawn, amazing artworks. All right, we have our packs. These are pretty crazy. Three Neo packs. We got to just start off with Neo Discovery and then we'll end it with Neo Genesis. I feel like 2001 was just like the perfect timing for Pokemon. Like 2000, 2001, like you had Gen 2 released. You had all these Neo sets coming out and you had the combination of Gen 1, Gen 2. That just hits me right in the nostalgia. I don't know. I just remember playing the gold version like... Just, I don't know, there's something about it. There's something about it. It's like peak childhood nostalgia for me. Anyway, though, we have Neo Discovery, um, 2001 release. Master the secrets of Neo Discovery set. So, we're going in on this thing. All right. I think it's like a three to $400 booster pack. But here we go. We're going to open up all of them. And I don't know what the actual pack trick is on it. Because it's always different for the Neo set. Sometimes it's like the first card. Sometimes the last card. Sometimes it's somewhere in the middle. I think we're just gonna go straight through these and we start off with the spinner rack dude let's go okay we got spinner rack we have Mareep so 2001 release that's the neo discovery symbol oh my god come on done sparse you can't beat this southern islands and neo sets all in one opening like i don't know if you can beat that unknown we got the pine go come on we got larvitar i have no idea where the rare is gonna be but i don't even care i'm just enjoying this i hope you guys are as well we have Unknown E. All right. And, oh, the Magnemite. That's the rare. Okay. We know where the rare is now, but it's a non-hollow. Magnemite. Oh, then we got the Amistar right back there. We have the Unknown F. And then we have Poliwhirl. And that's actually 75 cards in the entire set. Don't forget, I'm also opening that Pikachu World collection at the end of the video as well. So we got a lot of stuff to look forward to. Because next, we have the Scizor Neo Discovery. And these packs are so clean. You could tell, like, they're literally, obviously, straight out of a binder. And, like... It's, just, I don't know, they're just perfect. Like, they've just been sitting in there for, for over 20 years, and now we get to open these up. Like, it's so cool that, these, that the promo set also came with packs. Like, I don't know, this just does it for me. It's too good. All right, so, of course, you can get Umbreon in this set. You can get Espeon Hollow. You can get Tyranitar Hollow. So, I'm hoping this next pack, we maybe get a Hollow. Remember, the odds are about 1 in 3, so we're definitely not guaranteed out to get a Hollow. But we know that we definitely have the odds, so it's going to be 3 from the back on here. Let's see if our second one has the goods all right we have ruin wall nice come on more unknown so unknown d Ooh, we got the zatsu in there put that in as a uncommon okay uncommon that was a common for a second centric hop hip i'm just like i'm just i don't know i'm just amazed at how this is just such a good promo set ammonite whooper i mean i've already knew it was and we actually have opened one of these on the channel but it was it was probably close to three three years ago whooper so I mean, I just, it's too good. Ted Ursa, we have Unknown O now. We're getting like all the unknowns. Poliwag to go with the Poliwhirl. Oh my God, go away! Bro, this is, man, I don't know what else you're gonna, <laughs> I don't know what else you're gonna ask for. We got the Yanma. Oh my God. Dude, this is actually really, really hard to get. 
This card that we just pulled is really, really tough. Hold on. Yanma? No way, bro. <laughs> I wasn't sure we were going to get a hollow, but we got a really good one. And the swirls continue. The swirls continue. This is a really good one to get. Okay, so I, I want to tell you guys something. I think there's less than 10 of these that exist in a 10. Less than 10 that exist in a 10 for Yanma because it's so hard to grade, but it's such a cool, it's such a cool card. It's probably going to print lines. It's probably going to have print lines. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Either way, it's an amazing card. It looks really clean. Like, I don't know. That, that actually, that looks really good. Um, dude, okay, let's go. That's so sick. Perfectly with the, like, the island theme. We got the green going. You know what I mean? All right, this is hype. This is hype. We have Neo Genesis now, unlimited. Dude, if we pull, like, a Lugia, I'm, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to lose my mind. A Typhlosion or, like, a Meganium for Alligator. But this was the first ever Generation 2 Pokemon cards. Uh, it was released in the year 2000. So the first ever Neo set. And we have another pack of unlimited. Oh, my God. Dude, the binder's too good. It's too good. I, I, it, does, it hits everywhere. It's just perfect. Everything inside the binder is perfect. It's so unique. It's so good. And I have no idea where the rare is going to be. I'm just going to go straight through this thing. It could be the last card. I feel like it might be the last card. Okay. We have Ladybug to start it off. Let's see if we get luck on this G Neo Genesis. We're, we're, we're one for two right now. We're one for two. Let's go two for three. Meryl. Okay. We got more Meryl. So we had the one in the uh, Southern Islands. We got this one too. We got Onyx. Actually, that was also in Southern Islands. Sid Quill. Dude, we get the Typhlosion. We got Shuckle. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold my breath on this one. We already got a Hollow. That's more than I could ask for out of three packs. If we get one more, we would just be super super lucky. Double Gust. We're already super lucky to be able to open this up though. Focus Band. Remember, after this pack, I am opening up the Pikachu World Collection. You guys got to see those Pikachu cards though. We got Togepi. We also had Togepi in Southern Islands as a reverse card. We have Gramble. I hope I didn't pass the rare. Did I pass the rare? Did I? I did. Oh, I knew it. It was focused, man. Dang. Okay, that's fine, dude. That's fine. Cool lava. It would have been perfect to have the Typhlosion, though. Okay. You can't tell me that that Southern Islands does not make you happy. Just looking at those cards, the artwork, the postcards, and everything like that. Okay. So next up, I have Pikachu World Collection. This is, I guess, it's like a, it is a binder, technically. Um, but this is really cool because it was released in uh, for the Pokemon the Movie 2000, I believe. And... Um, the thing with this is it's worth around $300, but you get Pikachus in all different languages in here. So it's I think it's really cool because you get this cool little custom binder here and everything like that. Wizard of the Coast, of course, is printed on there everywhere. Uh, just super cool. We're going to check this out, though. And there's all the languages at the top. English, German, French, Dutch, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, Chinese, and Korean. I don't know which, like, which language is which, so we're actually going to see. I don't know which one's English either. That'll be interesting. So I guess we just got to rip this. Oh, yeah, there we go. That actually opened up super easily. And then they're all laid out in the binder already, I think. Okay, here we go. Oh, my God. And they're already sleeved. They're already in the binder sleeves. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, my God. Yeah, you got Chinese. You have Korean. Oh, dude, they have this symbol. Dude, look at that. Oh, my God. I never knew that these had this. So, okay, it looks like, obviously, the English one is going to be the birthday Pikachu, which is sick. Yo, do you guys see that? I never knew that that was on there. That is so cool. It's a hot. This is too good. Everything we're opening today is too good to handle. Oh, my God. I love that. So that is like a hollow Pikachu's tail. That is probably the coolest set symbol. I know that the Southern Island one is really good too, but that that might be the coolest set symbol I feel like I've ever seen. It's the Pikachu tail with the hollow pattern on it. So birthday Pikachu, and this is a non-hollow for all these cards. Oh my God, I got this in sleep. Dude, that's sick. All right, and there's no chance I'm going to be able to know every single language, which one's which, but I'm going to show you guys each. Dude, that tail. I, somebody, like... I never knew that was on these. I knew about these cards. I knew about the binder, obviously, because I collected them. I have some more sealed in the collection, but, like, I never knew that they had that hollow tail there. That just takes it to the next level. I do feel bad whoever had to sit here and sleeve all of these individually, because that's got to be a lot of work to do all these. That's got to be so much work. Oh, my God. Okay, so we have the Ivy Pikachu. So this card, in a different version, not with the set uh, symbols like that, but um, in English with the Black Star promo, you could actually... Apparently, you can get this in jungle. Like, this is, like, the secret rare in jungle that apparently exists that I have seen one person pull on the internet. I've never seen any other. Okay, let's keep going. Next one, we have another Black Star Pikachu. And you can get all these cards in different versions without, like, the world, like, thing on them. But that is a really cool idea. All right. So here's the jungle Pikachu. And it's cool to see all these, obviously, as not hollow. Some of them came in hollow, like, different versions and stuff like that. But we have this one as well. Oh, we got the Pokemon Snap version Pikachu. It's like a screenshot in Pokemon Snap, I believe. 
Super cool one as well. I got to sleep every single one of these. Pikachu fans, I think this might be a really cool thing to collect if you're like into Pikachu or honestly like old school stuff just in general. So we got another Pikachu here. Black Star promo, top down view of Pikachu running through the jungle. Everybody knows the flying Pikachu and I think everybody knows this one. The serving Pikachu as well. So this one made reappearances in a couple of sets, like evolutions and stuff. And then of course, the classic OG Pikachu, and this is the Yellow Cheeks edition version of it. You can also get it in Red Cheeks in first edition and in Shadowless, but that is the Pikachu World Collection as well. But yeah guys, that is gonna do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a ton of fun opening up all this sealed product from back in the day. If you did enjoy it, make sure to smash the like button on your way out. If you want more content, click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.